Hey guys, welcome back to another Warframe video where today we are going to be talking about Zors. But more specifically, we are going to be looking at Zors for Exodia Contagion. So for those of you who do not know what Exodia Contagion is, it is an arcane which you can fit to your Zor that allows you to double jump and sling a projectile which does AoE damage and yeah, basically just annihilates everything. The damage output on Exodia Contagion is very, very high. It can be used in Steel Path. It is just a generally good tool. And for those of you who have been watching my Warframe Done Efficiently playthrough, you'll notice that I use this quite a bit to clear our enemies. Perhaps when I'm using a more single fire weapon rather than an AoE one, I can just use my Exodia Contagion to do that. And like I said, it's great early game if you can get it for clearing out Steel Path. So... Today we are going to be looking at kind of the dynamics behind building a Zor for Exodia Contagion, what you want to be looking for, what Exodia Contagion actually does and how you can like use it. And I think the way that we're going to structure it is we're just going to build ourselves a new Zor and talk about kind of how we would go about doing that for Exodia Contagion and hopefully we'll end up somewhere good. So yeah, I thought what we'd do, considering um, very recently in my playthrough I have unveiled a Rab V Riven. We would go ahead and build a Rab V Exodia Contagion Zor from scratch and then do a bit of re-rolling on that Riven mod we've got to see where we can get it to. So when it comes to Exodia Contagion, you want to be probably building for crit. Basically it. So any Zor uh, with a, a Riven disposition kind of up there at 4 or 5 is really good for this because obviously you can get extremely high plus crit chance on those uh, and essentially just guarantee yourself orange or red crits whenever you throw out an exodia contagion so that's what we're going to be aiming for and the rab v is one of those weapons i believe its current disposition is 1.3 times which is a four dot i think it might be verging on a five dot i'm not totally sure but yeah we're going to go ahead and uh, buy up what we need from cetus i'll go through the kind of different grips and the links and what they mean and then, yeah, we'll start putting something together. So I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, guys. So once you're in Cetus, you're going to want to head over to Hawk and browse his wares. And you can see in here that there is a number of different Zor parts. But we are going to be focusing on the ones that provide us with greatly increased damage and also greatly increased critical chance. So we're going to ignore any that provide status chance and speed simply because status chance isn't really going to benefit us on a weapon that is designed to just insta kill an enemy as the exodia contagion will do on the rab v um so yeah we're going to be looking at parts that just focus on damage and crit chance so the parts that i'm going to go with are the core which is a single-handed grip so we can get a single-handed hammer with the rab v this provides us with a plus 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 bonus so a 75 percent i think it is increase to damage whilst it also provides a huge speed reduction. But we can counter that using Primed Fury or Berserker Fury, whichever we decide to go with in the end. Um, if you do not, or if you're not a huge fan of the speed reduction from this, you could go with something like the Quath, which provides still a fair bit of damage, but you also get a, less, uh, a lesser reduction in attack speed from it. So yeah, we're going to take the Corb. We're going to pair it with the Rab V. As we said, we have a Riven for it, and it has a very good Riven disposition for getting a nice high crit chance. And then if we take a look at our, uh, our links here, sorry, uh, we are going to be using the ones that provide us with crit chance and also damage. So that is going to be the Vargit Ruhang or Vargit Ruhang sets. So you see here we've got Vargit 2 Ruhang, and then we've also got Vargit Ruhang 2. That increased damage and critical chance at the cost of speed and status chance. Now, the difference between these two is that one provides greater damage and slightly less crit chance, and one provides greater crit chance and slightly less damage. So the one that provides more crit chance is the one we are going to go for, because I really do want to get the most out of the crit chance on this and get it as high as possible. And that is the Vargit Ruhang, Vargit 2 Ruhang, sorry. So the Vargit 2 Ruhang provides an additional uh, bonus to crit chance whilst only having a slight increase to damage, whereas the Vargit Ruhang 2 produces greater damage at the cost of a, you know, a bit less crit chance. So yeah, that's the one we're going to go for. So to, to summarize, the three parts we're going to go with for the Exodia Contagion build are going to be the Vargit 2 Ruhang, the Rab V, and the Corb Grip. So let's go ahead and farm up what we're going to need for this. You can see I need some Pyrotic Alloy. 
I am also going to need a lot more standing, it seems, to buy the Vargit to Ruhang. And then for the Rabi, we've actually already got, <coughs> excuse me, all the parts that we're going to need. So let's get all the materials gathered up and get this thing building. Okay, so our parts have just finished building, so we now need to head back to uh, Cetus here. And once we're there, we're going to go ahead and build our Zor. But before we can guild it, which is uh, what you need to do to get the maximum stats out of it and access to that Exodia Contagion slot or the Arcane slot, is we need to rank it up to 30 once. So let's go over to Hawk again. We are going to forge a Zor with the Ravi, the Corb. And the Varjeet to Ruhang. And there we go. So now we can go ahead and equip that. And since I am over level 30, I will already have maximum capacity on this. We're going to throw on a Oricon Catalyst. So let's do that real quick. Uh, where are we? Right here. But we're going to go ahead and put it on uh, our leveling build. So let's do... Ravi, and we can throw on our Sundering Weave for machetes, and then yeah, let's throw on our, whoops, not that, let's throw on our Oricon Catalyst, like so, and then I'm debating whether or not I want to put on either Prime Pressure Point or Sacrificial Steel and Sacrificial Pressure to get the maximum possible crit chance, but I think for now we'll just run with Prime Pressure Point and Sacrificial Steel. You can see our crit chance is already over the 100% mark. Um, so any additional we get from this uh, this Riven when we start rerolling it is going to be just dandy. So let's go ahead now. We can throw on some speed mods, I guess. So perhaps Berserker Fury. Uh, I might also put on Primed Fury for now as well, although I don't think I've ranked it up. Yeah, so it's still not ranked up, but we can do that off camera if we want to. And yeah, I'm going to rank this up to 30 off camera, guys, and then we will go ahead, guild it, and start work on yeah, getting this getting this formed up to a point where it's going to be pretty lethal. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, guys, so just under four minutes there, able to get our Zor maxed out. So let's go ahead and pop back down to Hawk. Oh, actually, before we pop down to Hawk, let's check what disposition, or not disposition, what polarity, sorry, our Riven mod was. So, D polarity, as we call it, Vazarin, I believe. Um, so, let's go ahead and jump down. That's what we are going to, to polarize our first slot with when we come to guild the weapon. Here we are. So, other services, guild, Zor. And let's go ahead and put our Vazarin. Actually, let's put our Vazarin at the end, I think. And we'll call this Exodia. Exodia Zor, just so we know. Good, good. So now we can go ahead and we can throw on our River Mod. Now, this is the point where we are probably going to be re rolling our River Mod because that's kind of going to determine what build style we're going to go for. So let's get this thing, not that, uh, the Ravi one, yeah, uh, whoopsie, let's do that again, Ravi, and let's get this thing maxed out, very nice, and we have 35k, but I do have a bit of Steel Essence that I can spend on some Kuva, so I'm going to go ahead, just pop down to the relay quickly and do that, and then we'll get to re-rolling. Alright guys, so we've now got ourselves a crisp 106,000 Kuva, which should be enough for 30 rerolls. So let's just go ahead, do all of that, and see what we end up with. Ideally, we just want a lot of crit chance, and any extra good stats are going to be fine at this point. So, uh, so let's get on with it.
Okay guys, so not the best Riven in the world, but it's decent enough. We actually get just innate viral damage from this one Riven, which is quite nice, although Exodia Contagion does actually provide a great deal of viral damage anyway, so it's not entirely helpful. But what you need to know about when you get two elemental stats on a Riven is that if you were to put on another element next to it, that element would combine with the bottom element on here. So you can see that is cold. If I was to throw on, say, Molten Impact, then you can expect to see Blast damage here, as well as Toxin from the top one, if we just take a look at that. Uh, let's go for a Volcanic Edge, that's small enough. And there we go, so we get Blast and Toxin, because the Heat is combining with the Cold at the bottom, and then we have Toxin left over. So I think what we'll be doing here is we need to form this up, probably, let's see, one to potentially four or five four i think four four or five times and then we will be able to get a full build on here so what we'll probably roll with i think is hmm, i think we'll decide once we get there because i want to be able to put prime fever strike on for that massive damage uh but at the same time it would be nice to have a different element on here so yeah Let's see uh, what we can come up with. I'm going to go ahead and start ranking this up. I will show you one run of the ranking up process that I use when I form these things. And then, uh, yeah, I'll just get to work blasting through all of it. So I'll catch you guys in a second. Okay, guys, so I'm actually using my Banshee Affinity build here. And what I'm going to do is exactly the same thing as I do on my Focus Guide video. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on it. But if you want to have a look, I will leave a link down to those guides in the description below. Um, but this should uh, should rank our Zor up nice and quickly. And you can see we are already hitting some juicy orange crits right here. And yeah, we're just going to do this over and over again until our Zor is maxed out. Alright guys, so we've now completed the build and due to the fact that my my Riven mod here has two elements on it, I've got another two elements alongside that um, to create whatever kind of combo that I want here. I could go with, say, Viral Radiation, um, or if I wanted some more speed, I could put on Gladiator Vice. But for the most damage, I'm going to go ahead and I'm definitely going to keep uh, Primed Fever Strike on there. However, maybe we will just keep it as viral for now rather than change it to corrosive and cold just so we can get the huge viral damage. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this is now complete at this point. Obviously, if you've got different stats on here, you might want to alter the build a bit with regards to elements. I just happen to get two on here with my crit chance and our crit chance is up at 166.9%. We could throw on Sacrificial Pressure at some point. I'm not sure if it will increase it all that much, though, to be honest. Let's just try it and see what happens. So it goes up to 184.5%. So, you know, it's not it's not 200% even with that on, but I think we'll still be hitting a decent amount of orange crits just like that anyway. So uh, let's put this back as it was, Northwind. Uh, and then we think about something that we can try this on. So maybe we'll go for a Profit Taker run. Why not? Let's do a Chroma Profit Taker run and see how much damage this thing does to the shield. Uh, let's create a new build for that though. And what we can do is put on a load of different elements just to make our lives a bit easier. So uh, we won't be running that. We'll just run... Uh, let's do Blast and Viral. Oh, sorry, Blast. No, we don't want that. Oh yeah, North Wind, so let's put on Shocking Touch, sorry. So Radiation and Viral, um, and then we'll do, I don't know, what should we do? Just the same as before, I guess, so Sacrificial Steel. Uh, in fact, you know what? I do want the maximum damage. I've changed my mind already. Corrosive and Cold, that should be fine. Um, then let's throw on everything else we had, so Gladiator Might... We'll put on maybe... I don't know, we'll do Berserker Fury still. Let's not forget Exodia Contagion. And then... What was the last one we had on here? Organ Shatter. Lovely. Alright, let's jump into a Profit Taker run and see how much damage it does. 
All right, so it's been a while since I've actually done a profit taker hunt, so this might be very slow, but we'll see. Um, so let's hop in and give it a whirl with our chroma here. All right, we need to take a bit of damage. There we go. So for any of the kind of physical damage ones, we can use our, our Zor. There's some elements, obviously, that we're missing. I think we're actually missing Viral, unless we can get a nice little hit. There we go. So if you can hit his underside with uh, Exodia Contagion, it actually does proc the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the shield. It hits the shield, so bear that in mind. It does the Viral damage. That's the only way you can do it. Blast, that's us. My damage buff isn't quite yet at full on my Chroma. Okay, so physical damage, we just use the, uh, the Ravvi. Whoops. Getting knocked over again. Let's keep our Unairo up nice and high. Uh, corrosive, that's on our Ravvi as well. And there we go, the shield is down. No phase skip on this one. Okay. Uh, primary. Physical damage. Mag damage we don't have, I don't believe. Whoopsie daisy. Viral damage you don't have either. Damn. Unlucky. Alright, Toxin we do have though. Not a lot though. I need to change my secondary weapon now. It's been so long since I've even addressed any of these issues. Slash. There we go. Lovely. Not too shabby at all. And as you can see, yeah, the Zor, it does a fair bit of damage. So, happy with that. Not too shabby at all. And it will also make a better stat stick for my Korra now, I think, as well. So, that's nice. There's our 250k credits. No credit booster. And we can head back to Fortuna. Uh, so, there we go, guys. Let's do a bit of a recap and uh, round out the video. Alright, so to summarise, we have built ourselves an Exodia Contagion Zor here using the Rabvi, and with that we have put on the Corb Grip and the Vargeet to Ruhang Link for extra crit chance and a bit of damage, and then Corb for that massive damage increase as well, along with the Rabvi Strike, which we have a Riven mod for. And as you can see here, we did manage to roll a crit chance uh, Riven, with two elemental mods, it would have been a lot better if we could have got crit damage on here. That would have been just perfect, and I would highly recommend you try and seek out crit damage on your Riven as well. But for now, this is absolutely fine. We'll probably do some more rerolls on it in the future. And then everything else just geared towards crit chance, crit damage, and just general damage. Um, so yeah, that's the build, guys. If you have any questions or you want to uh, you know, address anything in this video, or perhaps you have your own Exodia Contagion build that you like to go for, then do let me know down in the comments below. I'd be happy to read through, through those and try out a few different test builds. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions about the build, then obviously let me know about that as well. But otherwise, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. I'll see you later, guys.